Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In the last video we have seen how hash code and equal works in Java. That was a very important topic to understand how actually hash map works in Java. So before we go and see how hash map works in Java, let's see what is a hash map. So hash map is a simple data structure which stores the value in the form of key and value. So key and value, right? It stores the data in the form of key and value. So just you can assume that a phone book, right? If you take an example of a phone book, how we store the value in a phone book? In the phone book, generally we have a name and a number, right? So we can, we can say that Rahul has a number double nine eight six seven eight three seven eight two similarly we can see that raj has a number double nine eight six three eight one and three eight two so like this we store the number in a phone book you can assume that your hash map works on the same way we store the value in the form of key and value so now you can see here the key is raj and its value is the phone number, right? So this is the way we store the value in the hash map. Now, how hash map works internally in Java? So to understand this, we have already seen how hash code and uh, equals works in Java, right? Now, in this, you can see, this is the key and this is the value. Now. If you, if you say that in Java, how we create an object, right? Okay, let me first tell that this has map is an implementation of the map interface. So we have something called map interface and your has map implements this interface. So this implements, this implements this has map, okay? Now, To create an object of the hash map, how we can create it? So we can say that map, okay, not like this. So we can say map and we have to say what kind of key it is going to store. So in this, the name is, you can say it is a string. So it is one of the string and this you can say it as a number. So number can be a uh, long also, okay. So this is the way and object one equal to, we use keyword to create the object and we say has map. So this is the way we are going to create the object into uh, any, uh, uh, create object of any, any class, right? Now, when you say that we are, we are going to create this object, how the things are working into the background. So when we write this code and when this code gets executed, there will be a array gets created into heap okay and by default the size of this array is 16 so you can if the index is starting from 0 1 2 it can go to 15 right now this is the array gets created and to store this key and value we can we can assume that the the structure right structure of this key and value will be something like node and you can say it will have a key it will have a value the other thing it is going to store is what is the hash code which i have explained into the last video if you have not seen you can go and watch that video so the other thing it is going to store is the hash code and one more thing it is going to store is the next node it is. So you can see it is the next node. So node next, okay. So this is the structure it is going to store into this array and basically it is called as a buckets. So your each index is called as a bucket. Now how, how we are going to store this key and value. So suppose if I'm going to say object one dot put and put is the method used to 
store the object into this hash map. So when you're going to put and say you're going to say Raj and the number is double nine eight six three eight one and three eight two right so now you're going to see this how it is going to store so first thing it is going to do is it is going to calculate what is the hash code of this key so what is the hash code of this raj so now suppose if if that hash code of this raj is returning me an integer value right so just assume that i have created an object here and with the Raj and some number it is there 2986 suppose some number is there so you'll get a hash code of this object now this object has code you can assume any number like uh, suppose you're getting as a this number you're getting is a hash code right now once you get this hash code what it is going to do is it is going to calculate the index or it is going to calculate the bucket in which this object it is going to fill so now how it is going to calculate is it is going to take a modulus of this by modulus of this hash code and by doing that it is going to get the bucket so suppose if if you are taking this number and doing a modulus of this number by 15 a number you will get between 0 to 15 right so suppose you are getting number as a 2 so this is your bucket okay now once it is going to get this bucket, it is going to get store this object into bucket two. So now suppose here, whatever we are storing, right? What you can see here, we have to store the key. So the first thing it is going to store is key and key is Raj, right? The second thing it is going to store the value, which is the number double nine eight six. Some number is there. The next thing is hash code. Now the hash code of this number I have given as like and this hash code is generated by uh, Java. You have seen like how you can generate the hash code and override the hash code method to get the value, right? And the next node, right now there is no next node, so it is pointing to the null. Okay, so this is the first object it is going to store in this two index or in the bucket two. Now suppose again you are going to say object two dot put, and now if this time you are saying Rahul, okay, so and this is double nine eight six we have given seven eight three seven eight two as a value again it is going to create the object into the hash map right now suppose this is the hash map and it is going to create rahul and it is going to store this number also number seven eight three some number is there okay now again it is going to do what it is going to get the hash code of this value now this time you can assume that this is getting the 2000 or two suppose then some number is there now again it is going to first got the hash code and now it is going to calculate what is the bucket or index it is going to fall so it will do a modulus of 15 and then it will get some number between 0 to 15 which will be which uh, it will do 16 okay so it will it will get some number between 0 to 15 this time it can get two and this time it can get any number between 0 to 15 so uh what will happen so see if it is going to get anything other than two it can go and simply store that value there but what will happen if it is going to get the index again as a two right it can get the index again as a two so when it is going to store the value on two it will see that there is already one object stored there right the raj we have already stored in this ob uh, in this bucket two so this time this equals method it is going to use now what it is going to do it is going to compare this Raj, sorry, compare this Rahul with Raj, which is the key of this hash map, right? Now, when it is going to compare this key, which is Rahul and Raj, it is going to see that it is not equal, right? So if it is not equal, it will go and store this value into the next node. So you can see here, we are going to store the value Rahul and double nine eight six seven eight three seven eight two and this hash code also so what is the hash code of this you can see the hash code is something like this and this is not pointing to anything so there is no other object next to this but we got a object next to raj right so this null will not be here it now this next will be pointing to this address 
so you can see how we are growing the index of this uh, the second index of this hash table right so you can see here again if i'm going to store a new value and if the bucket is coming at same it is going to store the value at this location so suppose if you're going to store some new name suppose you're going to store the john and suppose the number is double nine eight six three five two some number is there, six seven eight again you can get a has code as something different and then again you can store the value here so this null will not be there now it will be pointing to this so it can happen that suppose your hash map size is very big here we are taking the index is only 15 right now hash map can store the value a very large number of values suppose it is storing thousand numbers of values it can happen that this index the number uh, the number of objects you are going to store on these indexes can grow right this is you can see it is taking a form of a linked list right it is it is always going and storing some numbers here so there is a threshold value uh, there is a threshold value and if it is going more than that threshold value this linked list will be get converted to binary tree Okay, so if the number is growing more than the threshold value on any bucket, this linked list will be get converted to binary tree. And why this is happening? You know, what is the uh, like time complexity of getting a value from a linked list? It will be order of n because we have to traverse the full linked list to get that value. If it is storing at the last now suppose if again you are getting some value here you are storing sita and that number is double nine eight six some number is there and then again this is the hash code and this will be pointing to null and it will go here right so in this case you have to traverse the full list to get this value and the order to get this is o log n in the case of binary tree this will be this will be reduced to O log n. You can see here the time complexity to getting a value from the hash map in the case of it is a linked list it will be order of n and if it is uh, like if it gets converted into the binary tree it will be of the order of O log n. Now if this, if this table is not so big what will the time complexity of getting the value from a hash map? And of course, we can get the value by you passing the key. Now, suppose if you are passing the key as a Rahul, it is going to return you its value. So what is the value we have stored in Rahul? We have stored the value as this, right? So we can get it here, 9986783782. And how we are going to get this key or get this value? So once you pass this key, right, once you pass this key, it will go and again first compare what is the hash code of this key it will get this value again it is going to compare uh, get what is the bucket in which we have stored this value it will get as a 2 and once it get as a 2 it is going and comparing each object which is stored in this bucket with this Rahul so first it will see that no this is Raj right this is not equals to this Raj now you can see how this equals method is getting used right so it will compare this Rahul with Raj it will be not be equal again it will go and compare the this one so it will see that Rahul is it is it is matching with this key right so it will go and get this value it will go and get this value and return you this value so this is the way your hash code and equals method is getting used in implementation of the hash map uh, I think I'm making sense if you have any doubt you can you can just write it in comment section I will try to answer it so uh, this is all about hash map and its internal working. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.